Yo, what is going on, Eat Nation? Baby, we're back for Madden 25 action. And today we're going to be going over one of the best plays in all of Madden. We are in Bunch Y Flex going over the money play dagger. How do I know it's one of the best plays? Well, because somebody ran this play against me and I had no clue how to stop it. No clue. The game went to maybe, I think it was like 48. 45 i just happened to kick the game winning field goal i had no clue how to stop it it was so good of a play that i even started calling it myself and then as you guys can see from the lower part of the screen 21 calls 16.2 yards per pop and i didn't even have time to lab it i just dry called it out of frustration against them but after the game i was like you know what let me take this to the lab and see if i can make it any better because towards the end of the game i started noticing some weaknesses to the play but hey the best part about this play is you're gonna find it in 11 different playbooks like on the screen that i have shown we're gonna hop right into it so we're gonna start off with cover one man on the defensive side and with how popular it is in madden in general i felt like it was a good place to start now on the offensive side we have a pretty dope looking play art because the crossing route ran by the x receiver does a phenomenal job being man defense now the backside in is also super unique because it stems towards the sideline and then cuts towards the middle of the field which does a very good job beating man defense now the tight end drag route also does a really really good job beating man defense underneath so we have three man beating routes across the field not including the running back now the running back you have multiple different options on what you could do with him we could reblock him if you want more time in the pocket now in ultimate team i find myself doing that a handful of times with an inferior offensive line but you could also leave him on his option route because if it is zone defense you could notice that little curl at the top of his route he will sit there but if his man defense he'll cut towards the middle of the field and if of course if you've played previous maddens you'll know the angle route does a phenomenal job beating man defense so you could obviously leave him that as well now my opponent that played against me ran it stock didn't make any adjustments but i have found a couple different things that you could do in my opinion enhance the play of course you could try and leave it for yourself and then see which one you like better now my adjustments to the play is by taking this middle bunch receiver and motioning him towards the opposite side of the field and we do that for two main reasons one we saw that defensive back move with that wide receiver all the way across the field telling us on the offensive side that the opponent is in man defense and one that's always a phenomenal thing to know on the other side what the defense is running two the streak performs a very good job being a clear out route in case the opponent is in zone defense now if he is still on the stock side of the field without making any adjustments that deep blue receipt the deep blue defensive back he gets a little slick and sly and tries to jump that crossing route ran by the x receiver now with that streak on the opposite side of the field like how we currently have it now defensive back doesn't get any slick ideas i'll show you guys later on the video when we get to cover three but this is going to be the adjustments and the play setup that i currently have and that i have been running in my online games so the freeze on this play are super simple you're going to be going to the tight end first the crossing route second the backside in third and then the running back fourth super easy to run this play highly recommend it super strong now look at that tight end super wide open across the middle of the field easy yards for you to pick up now ideally when you throw it to the tight end you want to throw it to him and be able to cut across the middle of the field like i just did right here it becomes a big hitter to the tight end when you're able to turn up field and make that cornerback miss so then it becomes a chunk game but it's a tight end drag around i'm not going to sit here and throw it 15 times a game you know we're going for the chunk plays like this corner or this crossing route yeah the crossing route ran by amon ross st brown is absolutely going to torch whatever defense the opponent's in now we're going to look at the backside in you can see right there he's able to cut across the middle of the field and he has immense amount of separation the way he stems towards the sideline then cuts towards the middle just fools the defensive back even if he has abilities for you to easily pick up chunk yards i mean what's the opponent gonna do guard the drag the crossing route and the backside in and nah he could only pick one now let's look at the running back for just for a couple quick routes you can see he basically just runs his own angle route and if it's a linebacker or any type of slower receiver that's it it's gone if i had jameer gibson or a better running back this would probably be a better play but i'm lazy and it's still incredibly effective I mean, you on the defensive side, right? Put your mind in a defensive player. What would you do if somebody ran this play against you? Like, realistically, like, 
you can't call man defense on it. That's it. It's over. The opponent can't call man defense if you're running dagger. So you know what? We're going to make the adjustment and go to cover three, right? And that should play other things a little bit better. But realistically, how? Because we got the clear out now to make sure the crossing route gets open. We got underneath routes for the check down if those zone drops are deep. And we got stuff going over the middle that the opponent has to use her. And if he decides to cheat towards the drags, cheat towards the crossing route, then we got the backside in. This is so many things for the opponent to worry about. So the great thing about the running back hook is that he does a good job making sure this curl flat defender doesn't stay too far back for the crossing route. So when you're going to see, I call hike, and then you're going to notice that he kind of hovers around that hook of the running back and then you're able to throw it over him to the crossing route. Like the opponent must manually guard the crossing route in all phases, main or zone. And right now what we're going to do is we're actually going to man up this crossing route with this linebacker. And then we're going to simulate the opponent kind of using it and taking it away, right? So if the opponent's using it, you're not going to want to throw it. And you know what? Let's say, let's say the opponent shades underneath to take away the drag and the running back, right? That's going to leave open the backside in, right? Because everything else is taken, everything else is taken, and that's just a free route. You would think the opponent made a lot of good adjustments to make sure he took everything away, but realistically, like, he just can't. There's too much going on at too many different levels of this field to really stop this play. And then you don't even have to wait for him to go across the sideline. You could throw it to the drag in the middle of the field. That's just a quick, easy pitch and catch. And of course, that's still chucked down underneath. So if he really throws out his zone drops, and then tries to stop the crossing route of the backside in, then of course, boom, right there, that running back. Now, what about that pesky mid blitz? Well, honestly, it's pretty easy because if you just motion that receiver to the other side, okay, boom, we identified that he's in man defense, right? We know in this double A gap setup that, you know what, if they're sending six, we got to block six. So we're going to block the running back and just make it easy on ourselves. Let's give ourselves some time in the pocket. Well, we still got three man beating routes on the field. We still got the drag, the crossing route, and the backside in. But since we know it is a man blitz, right? We know it's man because we motion the receiver to the other side and a defensive back follow. And we know it's going to be a man blitz, right? Just from the setup, right? You know, we, we've all seen this double A gap mid blitz, right? We don't necessarily have to keep the R1 receiver on the streak anymore because we know it's main defense and we know he's blitzing. And a streak isn't necessarily going to benefit us in this situation so you can kind of put them on a slant you can put them on a uh post you could put them i think the uh the animation is not showing the uh, the animation changes but you could put them on any route that you would like right now i have them on an out route i'm really disappointed that it's not showing it but you can see like on an out right here you can just throw a quick out route if you want to every single every single time and just pick up some quick yards if you really feel like it but in this case i'm just going to keep them as a streak just because eh, we, we already know that uh we can put them on whenever we want you know what, let me see if the animation is still gonna show there we go now, okay now we got them on that okay i'll just put them on and out just for the showcase of it but you know what we still know we got three man beating routes on the field right the tight end gonna be man defense and it's gonna be a chunk gain because there's nobody in front of him to tackle him well you know what let's say the user takes away the drag route but you know what on the complete opposite side of the field we got the crossing route absolutely wide open. As, as long as we got a good receiver there, that's a one-play touchdown. For some odd reason, the drag route didn't get open. The user's taking away the crossing route. All right, we got the backside in. Now, in, a, in, a, in man blitz, a little bit peskier of a throw because it takes a little bit longer. But you know what? This is going to be the reoccurring theme of what happens when you have time in the pocket. One more time, like backside in, free release easy touchdown yeah so i mean i personally never fear an opponent that man blitzes or mid blitzes or any type of blitz i take it as an easy win just because you know what i'm gonna block my guys and i'm gonna make my reads and just dot you up well, that's gonna wrap up this video if there's any questions or concerns when it comes to this please let me know and then i'll try to go over it as best as possible but realistically this is a super easy play to run super effective you could literally call this all game and I still probably don't know how to stop it. I've been trying to figure out a good way to stop this play. And honestly, I haven't really came up with anything. But other than that, hey, good luck, everybody.